about Godrej Properties reported a stellar set of Q4 numbers. The company reported its highest ever quarterly and annual bookings and collections. My colleague Sonal caught up with Piroj Shah Godrej, who is the executive chairman of Godrej Properties, began by asking him about the quarter gone by and how they see growth and booking trends. Listen in. I think we've been extremely pleased with uh, the year just gone by and we had a strong end to it in the fourth quarter with our highest ever quarterly sales, collections and deliveries during the quarter, which led to by far our highest ever operating cash flow. Um, I think this sets us up really nicely for the year ahead. Last year, we were able to grow our bookings by as much as 56%, grow collections by 40%. And what was particularly encouraging was that while pricing played a part in it, it was largely based on strong volume growth. So our volumes for the year grew by 40%, um, which we're very happy about. I think as we look ahead to the current year, we, we think we can maintain pretty rapid growth rates. What we'd like to guide for now is that we're looking to do a booking value of about 14,000 crore against a little over 12,000 crore that we did last year. Hopefully, like last year, we can uh, go ahead and exceed this guidance. But that, that's what we can see good visibility on for now. From a cash collections perspective, compared to just under 9,000 crore last year, we're quite confident of doing over 10,000 crore of collections this year and having another good year of business development. So I think the, the market is doing quite well. I think we feel very well positioned given all of the new projects we've been adding uh, to launch those and build on the momentum we've seen in the last financial year. Okay, and interesting that you say you expect to build on to the momentum because uh, your sales actually, they have seen fourfold jump in the last five years. Uh, your market share has increased from around 2% to say 8% in the bigger markets. What is the idea or the guidance or expectation for the next five years? 14,000 crore is for FY24. By when do you expect to touch the 20,000 crore mark? No, I think we, we would like to touch that sooner rather than later. We've historically said that financial year 26 was the year that we would like to reach that benchmark. Um, I think if a few things go our way, it could happen even before that. Um, but certainly the, the opportunity is only capped by the quality of our execution over these next few years. As you mentioned, despite having grown quite uh, fast over the last few years, our market share remains in the single digits. We think with the kind of new pro projects we've been adding across both new markets entirely, as well as the existing micro markets in the cities we're already in, um, the addressable market that we will have to uh, sell our projects to over these next few years will be much greater than it's been in the past. So we're quite optimistic about rapid growth. We think that anything, you know, on a, on a five-year basis, anything below 20% a year compounded would be, would be not fully seizing the opportunity. Okay. Uh, so when you talk about growing across micro markets, Mumbai has been a big market for you now, uh, for you, right? But the land availability in Mumbai is not as much. So like other players, will you also be interested in redevelopment? Is that a big opportunity for you? Yes, I think Mumbai is an important focus area and certainly redevelopment projects within Mumbai are an important part of the overall availability of land, as you suggest. Last year, for example, we had great success with a project called Godridge Horizon in Wadala, which was a redevelopment project where we sold over a thousand crore of inventory. We're actually one, one of the best developments of the last financial year was the kind of business development we saw because we added projects with a future booking value of as much as 32,000 crore, which was more than double our start of year guidance. And 10,000 crore out of that 32,000 crore was new projects that we added in Mumbai. So we certainly hope to see our market share in Mumbai go up quite considerably over the next couple of years. Okay, interesting. Uh, now when we are talking about uh, this phase where uh, recently RBI did not uh, raise rates, right? Um, at the same time, we are seeing inflation cooling off as well. What does it mean in terms of price hikes? Will they be higher than what you saw in FY23? So it's very hard to project real estate prices because there's a lot of factors at play. You know, one is, of course, interest rates. Our view is that interest rates are close to their peak now. You may have one or two more rate hikes, but after that, you'd probably have a pause and maybe by the end of the year, even a declining trend in, in interest rates. But again, it will depend a lot on the variables the RBI has to look at in terms of inflation and how the economy is performing. Um, but real estate prices are also very dependent on things beyond interest rates. So how is the overall economy doing? What are people's expectations for future price movement in the sector? What I can say is that the typical way the real estate cycle plays out is that you have 
in the first couple of years of the recovery, you have that playing out more in terms of volumes. And later, as that volume story has been fully established, is when you tend to see prices starting to move up. In some parts of the uh, country, you've already seen pretty sharp price movement over the last 12 months. So somewhere like NCR, you know, prices are certainly up 20 to 30 percent over that time period. But in most other markets, you haven't seen that level of price appreciation yet. I think it's quite possible that you will see that uh, in the in the year ahead, because again, that is what typically happens around this time in the cycle. But I think from a company perspective, you know, obviously all of our plans are built assuming current prices. And I think we want to make sure that irrespective of what the market allows us in terms of price improvement, that we see strong volume growth. And I would also say that given the kind of locations we've been adding projects in, we will naturally see project price expansion because of higher quality locations. But within project price appreciation, I think is a little bit dependent on mm. how the market plays out. No, of course, I take your point on that one. Uh, last question before I let you go. 18 projects is what you added in FY23. What is the launch pipeline looking like in FY24? And with that launch pipeline, will you see further increase in your debt? Because it has increased on a quarter on quarter basis in quarter four as well. Yeah, I think the you know the launch pipeline this year is is about 20 million square feet between new projects and phases of existing projects. So I think that would be significantly higher than we've ever had at, at any other year in our history. So so hopefully should lead to very robust sales and operating cash flow generation. Um, I, I think the whether whether or not debt goes up this financial year will really depend on the pace of business development. I think if we do, as we've guided, about 15,000 crore of uh, new projects being added to our portfolio, that might involve some debt increase, but not much, because I think the operating cash flow generation now is much higher than it's ever been. So, for example, last year, we generated 3,500 crores of OCF, which was more than double the previous year. So, similarly, we expect a good year, and that should be, going forward, the main source of cash for reinvestment. 